Hello and welcome back to some more PGA Tour 2K21 and part uh, 12 of our career mode. Today we've got the Tall Palms Classic at the Jumaraya Club. So let's get straight into the action. It didn't go particularly to plan last time, but hopefully this time we can do a lot better. And uh, maybe, maybe, just maybe, hit an under par round and yeah, hopefully we can do a lot better. That's that's the plan at least. So it's uh, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. Two K Sports so proudly presents this PGA Tour event. Today's coverage of the Tall Palms Classic is about to kick off. I'm Luke Elvey alongside PGA Champion Rich Beam. We're in the booth and down on the course is John McCarthy. Thanks, Luke. So pleased to be here at the Juma Riot Club today. And what a way to start your day with this long par four, staring deep into the downtown area. Oh my goodness. Can't wait to see what happens here today. Right then, here we go. Lovely. Um, Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Horizon there with the, the skyscrapers in the background. Around 180 yards out. Probably just going to go an extra club here. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Oh, this would be handy if it could bounce right. It's just gone too oh, far. Quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. Well, this would be a great par putt if you can make this. Well, this is this is a tricky little one. Oh, too tricky. Missed. So, yeah, this one is for bogey. Starting this round pretty much how we ended the last with a bogey. Not a good start. Yeah, that's disappointing. Getting underway over par. That never helped. Yeah, but if you look how they played the hole, it was disastrous. Lucky to walk away with a bogey. That might be one club too many. And not a bad approach. He'll be putting. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Yep, yeah, not enough. Not sure if they understood the lie of the land there, Rich. And again, Rich, goodness hurts. me. These greens are tough. Footer remaining. Don't want to miss it. Could be costly. Back to back bogeys is never nice, but in she goes. So not a good He's start to the one round. Bad mistake with another compounding it. Not good. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Guys, I'm on the third hole. This is Jim Furyk. Oh, he's had a bit of a, that's incredible. a result needed there. It. Needed that in a big way, chipping in for the par. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. Welcome to this hole. It's a par five. Yeah, oh, well pretty struck. nice. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Second shot here on the third. The interesting choice of the driver here. Mm, this isn't going well. No. They're in the bunker. Looking for an up and down here. It's not a terrible lie here. Just needs to sit down and 
Hopefully we can get our first birdie here. From the hole. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Come on. That's the kind of fighting spirit that keeps a good round going. That's what we need. Put a little pep in your step up and down from the bunker in for the birdie. Good job. We've arrived at a powerful hole. Nice birdie in the last hole for a change. First one of the day. They needed it desperately. Now, next hole, looking for more. So, hopefully that birdie will Let's head out to the settle us down hole. a little bit. Playing their fourth shot. Kevin Kisner this time. Great shot. Holes out for a birdie. Oh, and up he goes, marching to the top of the leaderboard. Let's get back to it, shall we? Playing from around 190 yards out. Four strokes off the lead. Going with the five wood. This one might need to sit. Yeah, the wind didn't really do anything there. That's not the took outcome they were after. Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. No. Nope. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. This putt looks to be 33 feet to the cup. It's a good line. Just yeah, be proud legs. of that. Fair effort. Yeah, not much to sweat there. So straight back to two all then. Actually moving down the leaderboard. That's not the direction to be heading. Teeing off here at the fifth. Good looking shot this. Going with the 9-iron, I think. We need this one to bounce right. Well, that'll do. Outstanding approach shot. Just take a look at this one, Rich. Do you think it's makeable? Look, I gotta say, I'm it's really there. Come on. Chances here, but you never Thank know. goodness. Stranger things have happened. Lovely moment. Right. This just need a that birdie at the last hole. A couple of wrong. birdies in a row just to settle us down. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. And this effort by Justin Thomas. And this one to move into the top 10 on the leaderboard. Yeah, good shot. And you hold it. What a monster. And he'll move into the top 10. Okay, let's get back to the action. Now just one over par. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Not hard enough. I sort of knew that was going to happen. never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Oh, as we can see there, the wind definitely affecting that shot. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Ooh, nice. That looks like a pure stroke. Currently at plus one for the tournament. So one over. Teeing off here at the seventh. Yeah, that one will play. Hammond on the ground. John, he's down there. What's the news? Down here on the eighth hole, guys. This is Jim Furyk setting up his next shot. That silky touch from around the greens. A lovely shot to chip in. And a chip in, Luke. Just what the doctor ordered. Let's return to live play now. Time for the second shot here at the seventh.
Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Looks good though. Looks very good. Eagle put. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Ooh, it would be nice to make this putt. This is for Eagle. Could be. That was a gallant Ooh. attempt. Chance to move inside the top 20 if you can hold this putt. Oh, there back. we go. At the very least, we got birdie there, but that could and possibly and should have been eagle. Back to even. We're back to oh, evens yeah. now. The first time in a couple of rounds. Tony Finnau leading the way. This hole is a par three. Is it one you should attack? We'll play the smart shot. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. That's a wonderfully played chip shot there. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. And with that, he'll stay right there at even par. Unfortunately, backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke. This hole is a par four, and it's a pretty lengthy one at that. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. And a good tee shot. Gives ourselves a, a nice second shot. Time to take their approach shot into the ninth. Going with the five iron here. Bit right. Yeah, that one's looking good. Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? Looks like about 22 feet to the hole. Decelerated. And that putt just was never hit hard enough. This one just outside seven feet to the hole. Well, we recover. Effort, confirms the par. Let's take a look at Kevin Kisner's effort from earlier. Absolute beauty here. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Gary Woodland currently leads the field. Let's see what happens here at the 10th hole. Let's hope this player will finally get aggressive and take the head cover off. Come on, do it. You know you want to, do it. Great drive, this one. That could get all the way onto the surface. What a shame. And now we go to the 11th, where this... Oh, I'm sick of all these go. things. I do love this feature. I just think it's this was maybe a little too often. Just disrupts your flow. Yeah, that's a great shot, but I don't need to see that every time. And back to the course with the live action. Setting up from the first cut here in the green. Nice recovery there. You better believe it is great. This is going to be another. Oh, I watch. thought it was going to be another one there. This putt coming up is for birdie. And Good. with that, that's their fourth there birdie. And that will take him to one under. One under par. Gary Woodland is atop the leaderboard. Now a two-stroke lead. Teeing off here at the 11th. Nicely done. Looks to be going with the five iron. This looks good. Oh, there you go. Should be another birdie on the card here. A chance for birdie here on the 11th. 
fair bit on the line here to spot the top five. There you go, into the top five now. And what a recovery this has been. He's never hurt, Rich. Gotta like it. He's feeling it. Gary Woodland is atop the leaderboard with a three-stroke lead. This hole here is a par four. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Luke, went a bit far. it did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. Oh dear, that's on the beach. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Ooh, almost went in. Yeah, good bunker shot there. Nothing left for the par. Oh, that was a beauty. Well, a man on the ground, John McCarthy, would have a better look at this. How's it lying? Well, considering where they ended up, the the lie could have been a lot worse. I think they might be able to to deal with this, but not too too much trouble. Ah. Sitting at two under par, currently tied for fifth place. Just missed the hole. Big power saver coming up for this fella. This needs to go in. Ooh, right by the hole. Pretty straightforward four footer coming up here. Well, that will avoid oh, a number shame. of drop shots. Well, hole. And Gary Woodland is currently in the lead. Say the 13th is an unlucky number, but I don't see it for you. The tee is yours. Looking to bounce back after that bogey, and they've got a great opportunity here. It's gone left. Uh, it's heading to the rough for mine. Unless it kicks right. Oh, no. Found the deep rough. This will take a big hack to get out here. Yeah, it's heading to the bunker for sure. <laughs> and here we are with the third shot. Four shots behind our leader. Well, the putter's going to be coming out of the bag, but it's still going to be a long way from the hole. Well, good look at a birdie here. Well, it's crazy how far Just right that went. Through the line. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. Nope. Just didn't drop. This Tough is greens a bogey putt coming around up. here. Good looking Most putt. Definitely. That's a good putt to hold for a bogey. Two bogeys in a row. Never a good sign. Now playing a little defensively. It's time to tee off here at the 14th hole. Going with the seven. Should find the green here. Oh, Didn't come on. Have the right stuff there. Well, definitely the wind had to have gotten a hold of that one. <laughs> no. Nope. Yeah, the line was pretty good, but the length. That was loose. All right, John, how's this putt looking? Well, from down here, it looks about 22 feet to the hole. Just go ahead and tap that one in. And in so three bogeys in a row. And we're back over par. Well, you set yourself up with an eagle opportunity. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And after this hole, that's how it looks. And Gary Woodland currently leading the field as I speak. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. 
They're needing to make something special happen, and I can't think of a better opportunity than now on this short par four. It might be an ambitious play, but I like it. Looks like they're going for the green here. No. Nope. Coming off a streak of three bogeys. Getting ready to play their third. Five shots off the pace. <laughs> That's almost a gimme. Great chip. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Five strokes back as we head down this final stretch. Yeah, a very weird and round. This effort by Justin Thomas. And here we are with the third shot. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Gary Woodland is at the top of the leaderboard with a one-shot advantage. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you handle the 16th hole. Seems oh dear. In the three wood. That was a lot more draw than I wanted and look where it's gone. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. Now trying to draw that one in there, but not committing to it, leaving it out. Lovely shot out of the bunker. That's in tight. Three feet to go here to the hole. Oh, that's well, a at least great we it. What an effort. Good par save there from the greenside bunker. Job well done. Getting ready to play their third. Ooh. Well, that was the number, no doubt about that. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Gary Woodland is one stroke clear of the field. Teeing off here on the 17th hole. Oh, Luke, that was a stonker there. This shot coming from around the 150-yard marker. Straight down win. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Awesome. Oh, well judged. Hole high, right inside the range. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Good. Gee, that's good. Finally. Play. Six birdies in a round. He's currently tied for 11. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Well, it's come down to this. The final hole. Welcome to the 18. Not a bad What's line, a this one. Left. Is right, which it hasn't. Would have been nice. The interesting choice of the driver here. No. Nope. Needed to go for it though. Oh, the old fried egg. What an awful lie that is. Any chance of getting out of this one? And that ball really dug into this bunker. It's, uh, she's deep, boys. She's deep. Trying to get to one under here with this putt. Get in. Looking better. Yes! And with that putt, so there we go. Players round. 71. One under. We'll settle top for that. Ten, Rich, not to be sneezed at. No, top tens are always good. Top tens are always good, Luke. It gives you some confidence going into the next tournament. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Bean, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time. So it's another top ten, ninth place. I think, yeah, definitely settle for that. It could have could have been a lot worse. You know, it was a very up and down round, but. Uh, you know, it's definitely some positives in there. We seem to have beaten Jim Furyk in a, in a lot of the uh, in a lot of the categories, which is good. Haven't got any of the sponsor bonuses, which is a shame. But um, there you go. Then that is where we'll leave it for today. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. It really does help out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel. 
for uh, lots more PGA Tour content. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.